I hate the government. I hate the government so much. I hate the councils more than anything because somehow they are more tyrannical than the government. They somehow managed to pull it off. Families who used derelict rocks to rebuild Cotswold's boundary wall are ordered to return them by parish council, who then put up a sign telling them off when they do. A, 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 pedantic, pa uh, bleh, a pedantic parish council ordered a group of Cotswold's villagers to return the derelict stones that they had used to rebuild a crumbling boundary wall, then put up a sign telling them off when they tried to do so. Families in Sycamore Grove and Chalford Hill near Stroud in Gloucestershire have blasted their local authority for showing a complete lack of common sense, well... <laughs> They are the government, uh, after residents had tried to restore the broken stone wall which borders their estate. Some of the stones they used were from a pile set aside from a derelict wall, which Chalford Parish Council had earmarked to rebuild walls in the village. When residents truthfully told uh, they had beautifully restored the walls using some of the derelict stones, they were ordered to rip down their work and return the exact rocks, something they say is impossible to work out because obviously no one's going to remember which specific stones they used. Uh, the locals decided they did not want their efforts to go to waste, so instead of knocking their restored wall down, they returned a different set of stones from another derelict wall. But scrupulous officials have deepened the neighbourhood war by erecting a sign next to the pile of stones which reads, do not leave stones in this area without permission from the parish council. I mean, they were just trying to fucking help. Uh, the group of residents claim they are being unfairly treated when they were just trying to help their community. Now, that is one thing that the, the government and council definitely do not want. They do not want community spirit and they do not want communities looking after themselves because if communities start doing that, they're going to start realising, hey, holy shit, we are actually so much better at this than the local council. We actually get stuff done and we get it done fast and it doesn't cost £70,000 and take like 12 months to fucking do. The government doesn't like that because communities that are self-sufficient and actually have, you know, high trust and can rely on each other to get stuff done, well, communities like that don't have to rely on the government. And the government doesn't like that. I mean, look at that. Raging about the bloody stones. Eh... Uh, Rosie Felce started working on restoring the wall last August, about a year after residents moved into the new estate off Middle Hill. Uh, I saw the stones there and I saw rubbish was blowing over them. Hold on. No, that's as far as it goes. Format your bloody website, man. I saw the stones there and I saw rubbish was blowing over from the bin and I started building a little wall, the 79-year-old said. She's 79 and she's lifting up rocks to build a bloody wall. I felt it was right. I'm a teacher. If you see something wrong, you do it. I d it didn't occur to me to ask anyone. There was no... I think asked me to say hedging. There's no hedging there. Neighbours came to help in September and we finished it by the middle of October. Then my nephews, who are professional stonewallers, finished it with cement. Not a problem. There you are. Problem solved and it didn't cost the government a penny. Uh, I then had a fit of honesty and wrote to the parish council to tell them I'd used some stones but said they were but said but it said they were for building walls. The residents believed that the stones were going to be used for rebuilding walls in the village due to a sign which was placed next to them which said stones would be used for parish walls. David Hubend, who also lives in Sycamore Grove, said when we all read that sign independently we all took it to mean that you could use the stones from the wall so long as it was for other parish walls. None of us took it to mean it was forbidden to take stones away from that derelict wall. And neighbour Steve Swan said there was photographic evidence showing that the wall they repaired had been there for decades. There's a clear picture of the wall that used to be there and it looks identical, he said. Miss Felcher said she would tried to return a pile of stones and place them on the other side of the road but they had not been accepted by the parish council which is adamant it wants its stones back. Residents are now at a loss as to how they would tell the difference and know which stones are theirs. So there you are, there's like the little bit of the wall. Wall is crumbled and submerged in vegetation, aye, so it's, yeah, the wall, that, that wall's pretty much gone, so this is where they've sampled the stones from, because it's clear that this thing's just fell apart. Uh, Miss Felchie said, I told them the stones are there, tell me if there's enough, and they said, take them away, we don't want those stones, we want our stones. <laughs> the fucking pedantic council. At least half of the stones we used are from the wall that's already on our estate. Uh, Green Square Accord, Mr. Felchie's land, uh, Miss Felchie's landlord, says the wall has been built without its permission, it claims that 
that a hedge was removed. However, residents dispute this and point to pictures that show that the wall has been there for years. The social housing company also says the wall was built without planning permit. Ah, planning permission, fucking shove it up your arse. But residents question the need for permission to repair an existing wall, and Stroud District Council says permission for it was not required. A spokesperson for Green Square Accord said a hedge was removed and a wall has been erected on land we own near the boundary of our homes on Sycamore Grove in Chalford. This was done without our permission or that of the local planning authority and this is a breach of planning regulations. Wah, planning regulations. Basically, these are just to stop people from improving their homes. That's, that's essentially what it is. That's essentially, like, I would understand it if it's a case of, yeah, you can build this just as long as whatever you build or whatever you do follows certain safety regulations. That I would still disagree with massively, but I would have a lot more truck with that. Right, but what they do is, even if you're like, I'm going to build this, it's going to follow the strictest safety regulations, it's going to tick every box, and the council can just go, mm, no, you're actually not allowed to build it, we've decided no, for reasons that we're not going to discuss, or we're going to give some vague input about some statute, some ancient statute or some shit like that, that's, all, that's what they do. You need to get permission to build a thing. It's not enough to just go, I'm building this thing, but don't worry, I will follow all safety standards and practices to make sure it's structurally sound, it's fireproof, blah, 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 all that stuff. The council doesn't care. Like, they decide whether or not you're allowed to make changes to your property, and it's not very often that they give permission. Which is why I ignore it completely. I do whatever the fuck I want. I own my fucking property. I own it. I don't have a mortgage, mate. I'll, fu I'll fucking do whatever the hell I want to it. I'm going to build a giant shed. I'm going to build an extension. I'm going to do all manners of stuff because it's my fucking property. Oh, I'll make it really hard to resell the house. I don't plan to resell the house. Suck my dick. <laughs> it's my house. Uh, where we actively seek feedback from and try to accommodate reasonable requests, we cannot permit unlawful activity. Woohoo! Unlawful activity. The, the the local pensioners got together to restore an old wall to make their village look nicer. What awful, terrible people. These, these criminals. These fucking criminals. Uh, we have requested that the wall is taken down and the hedge is replanted and we will take the necessary action required to ensure it is done. Chalford Parish Council said in a statement that Stroud District Council uh, granted planning permission for the planting of a hedge. I love how you need planning permission to plant a fucking hedge. That's amazing. Uh, along the front boundary of the Sycamore Grove development, there is, there is bureaucracy over planting a fucking hedge. Incredible. Uh, a group of local residents recently decided to build a wall instead, using stone belonging to Chalford Parish Council, which they took without the Parish Council's knowledge or prior agreement, it said. Well, the council's always taking my taxes uh, without prior agreement. So, I don't think it's, you know, I, I think it's fine that we help ourselves to, to some stones. It's the least they could do. I mean, we're not getting much else for our fucking money. Uh, we understand that the wall was also constructed without the necessary planning permission from Stroud, Stroud District Council or agreement from the landowner. The parish council's only involvement in this matter is to simply request that the stones were taken by the residents to be returned. Uh, Miss Felchie said her landlord's housing officer planned to visit the site on Thursday and villagers who had started a petition to save their wall intended to stage a demonstration then. She said she was fed up with the authorities who refused to listen to her argument. It's absolutely crazy. The local parish councillor told me, pardon, uh, I want the stones and you must take the wall down. There's been a lack of common sense. That's a, it's a lot of hot air. Lack of common sense. Welcome to your local council. They're useless. They are useless at everything. They're crap. Like, anyone, like, even, even though there's some leftists that, like, watch this channel as well, right, you know the local council's useless. Everybody knows they're useless. It takes them an eternity to do fucking anything. And for some reason, it's like, oh, it's cost us £150,000 and ever for what? For what? A, a fucking road barrier. You built like a 12 foot fucking road barrier and that cost you £150,000. It's made of metal, it's made of recycled aluminium. How the fuck was that £150,000? You want to know why? It's because they go to private people and the private people go government contract. Pff, triple the quote. Because they'll fucking pay it. And they do. The government doesn't give a shit about how much it pays for stuff. 
Uh, because, well, it's not their money, it's ours, so that's why they don't give a shit. Uh, staggered by the obstruction the group has faced, she added, you can't believe it, it's unhealthy and sad. Yes, of course, because it is the government. Right, uh, if it was private property, then you can't do that, right? You can't, you can, you're not allowed to do anything to anybody's private property without their permission. However, this is local government property, which in my eyes belongs to absolutely fucking everyone because their stolen taxes is what paid for it, right? And these people just went and saw a little bit of an eyesore and decided, oh, let's fucking fix it up, which is amazing and I wish all communities did stuff like that. However, they've been completely blockaded from it because the council's like, uh, you want to fix the graffiti wall, the wall that has giant penises and everything like spray painted all over it that your children have to walk past every single day to get to school. No, no, you can't do it. You can't do it. We're going to send a painter out to do it. When? 2026. And he's quoted as £30,000. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's the council that's what they do like there are people in the community that are skilled in many types of things that could easily go out and fucking fix that in 20 minutes but the council's like no you can't do that what you have to do is instead give us shit tons of money and we will maybe get around to it in a year that that's councils that's the way they work right it's, it's just a giant con to get your money right you pay taxes to them they spend, they spend about 10% of the taxes on actually doing stuff while all those bureaucratic fucks fucking uh, pocket the rest. Welcome, welcome to your local council. 